morning howdy everybody guess what it is still raining <clears throat> pouring rain woke me up several times last night I'm not getting good rest anymore because it rains hard and it wakes me up I go right back to sleep but 15 20 minutes later it wakes me up again over and over and over Y'all, I'm headed into Angleton, Texas to the pain management doctor's office where I am getting my pain pump slowed down again, slowing down the amount of medication that it dispenses through a catheter up into my spinal canal. And this slow down, bump back, whatever you want to call it today, is going to be the last one. I've, this is a process I've been going through for about six months, maybe five months. I can't remember exactly when I started, but I would have it slowed down each month. And now I'm having it slowed down every two weeks. And today is the last one. After today's bump back, it will just pump at the rate they set it at today until it is empty. And I will never have it refilled again. I was getting it refilled once a month for years. And it will never be refilled again. So I'm excited about that. But friends, <clears throat> the pain I have all over my body now, because they're also cutting me back on my hydrocodone pain pills that I was taking for all the other pain in my body, it's just unbelievable. You know, I never thought I could tolerate this much pain and still function. And it is very difficult, I promise you that. But I'm still functioning. It has slowed me down a lot. There's a lot I don't do now. I move a whole lot slower than I did. And the pain is just totally out the roof. You know, I have always, every time I'd go in for a pain pump refill, they'd ask me what my pain level was, and I thought, you know, at that time, at all of those times, that it was around a 7 or 8, sometimes a 9. I'm on a whole new pain scale now, y'all. The, the pain level I thought was a 7, 8, or 9 before was probably a 1 or 2 compared to the new scale I'm on now. I'm on a 10 all the time now I, I really have got pain but that's not what this video is all about I just want to let you know where I'm going and why I'm out so early this morning I do have to work this afternoon in the rain in the mud I got my mud boots on I don't know if you can see them down here or not but I wear my mud boots all the time now everywhere I go because Pretty much everywhere I go is down here on the Texas Gulf Coast, and it has not stopped raining here for over two months. I'm sick of this. But the rain is not up to me. I have asked God many times to stop it, to give me a break, let the place dry up for a while. I have even prayed many times for a drought I would rather have a drought right now than all this mess. If I had a drought, I've got my water well. I can still water my flowers and my vegetables and my grass. But God's not giving me a drought. This morning, the Holy Spirit, the God, pretty much kicked me in the butt for not doing videos, for not sharing the gospel the good news of Jesus who is the Christ and I know I have been very lack lax about doing that God and I still have our time together every morning we've never missed a morning and God has given me very good stuff to share with you all but I don't share it and he really Right me over the coals this morning and a couple of friends kind of rake me over the coals too about it 
even before I said anything about it. So God got in touch with me strongly this morning and he moved two of my close friends to get in touch with me also about the same thing within an hour, all within an hour. So I've got to be obedient, y'all. I need, I must be obedient. And I apologize to all of you for the mess that I've been in the last few months. You know, I could sit here and pour out excuse after excuse after excuse, but there is no excuse for not obe obeying God. I made a, made a video one time about getting the butts out of our prayer life. And we need to do that. I need to do that. Y'all, I don't know if you're awake to what's going on in the world, what's going on in America, what's going on in your state, in your county, in your city, and I don't care what country you live in, I don't care what state in America you live in, I don't care what city you live in, or what county you live in, signs of the end times are just glaring out everywhere you go. And I imagine you see them. This has been one heck of a crazy year. 2020 was one heck of a crazy year. And all of that is not just coincidence. It is all God working, preparing the world, trying to get the attention of people to draw them to him so that they might be saved before the tribulation period. And that period is about to happen. It is, we are knocking on the front door of it right now. Just prior to the commencement of the tribulation period, Jesus will come down in the clouds and call his saints, the true Christians in the world, and the true Christians who have died. He will call them first out of their graves to meet him in the air, and then he will call the rest of us who are alive on earth today to meet him in the air. We will be given glorified bodies and taken into heaven with him. Then the tribulation period will begin. Friends, I implore you, if you're not a Christian or if you pretend to be a Christian but you feel in your heart you really are not, today is the day to stop the foolishness and let God, let Christ enter your life. Let Jesus Christ be the Lord of your life. Become totally and completely obedient to Him like I am doing starting two hours ago. We must do that. We are commanded in the Bible to persevere to the end. And it's difficult right now. <clears throat> it is difficult, but we must persevere to the end because the end is very, very, very near. It could start before I get to the pain management doctor. I don't know when it's going to start. Nobody knows. <clears throat> but from all the signs, from all the prophecy fulfilled, it could start at any moment. Okay, I'm going to let you go for now. See that orange sign on the right there that says the Kalachi Shop? They sent me an email yesterday. He said I hadn't been in there in a while, so they want to give me a free Kalachi. I was in there less than two weeks ago, but... I'm going to stop and get a free kolache to eat while I'm driving to the pain management doctor. And I'll do another video later about some more stuff going on in my life and seek your prayer. And y'all continue to pray for Big Mac. I will update you on him sometime soon. Continue praying for Jason, my YouTube friend, and I'll talk to you guys later.